take a pass on that. But yeah, guys, that's right. We're doing Super Mario Sunshine. You guessed it most likely by that little intro music thing and boopy I just did. Well, we're going to be talking about Super Mario Sunshine. Now, I'm just going to preface this before you guys all start commenting angrily down below like, The game's not really that good. You're dumb. This is probably, in my opinion, my favorite Mario game. One of my favorite games of all time overall, including any series. So obviously I'm going to have a little bit of bias in this little review I'm going to be doing. But I will try and think about it as critically as I can, but just I'm not going to be bashing all of its bad things like a lot of other people probably would just because I have a lot of history with the game and I really do love this game for everything it has. <clears throat> it's incredibly unique. It has, you know, the flood pack, which I like. The level design is very different. There's more um uh story to the level design. It kind of makes sense. It's not just there. It's like a beach that has beachy things. There's like a harbor and a beach and a hotel and a beach. <laughs> and there's a lot of beaches. But overall, it's just like makes sense to me that much more than like Super Mario 64 because it's just you jump into a painting and voila. But anyway, I think we're going to be thinking, talking about some of the bad things, but some of the good things. Let's start with some of the good things. So one of my main best things that I like about the game is, honestly, the blue coins. Now, the blue coins are really annoying to collect. They don't give you more more coins if you're doing the 100 coins like they did in 64. There's a lot of them. Like, a lot of them. And, you know, it's just kind of an annoyance if you're going for 100%. And I normally do go for 100%, by the way. So it's not like I'm out of that... Which would probably explain why I wouldn't dislike him so much. However, in Oki Bay, I um I wouldn't say I like that that uh those blue coins at all. But overall, the blue coin idea itself is really interesting. It was something that was never put in before. It's like a second collectible, and considering it was like what like the second collectathon type Mario game, Mario 3D platformer. It added a second collectible, and 95% of the games don't even have nowadays. Like, Galaxy doesn't have that even. So, honestly, I think... And maybe Nintendo thought it wasn't a good idea, but honestly, I think it was a great idea to have multiple collectibles in your game. You know, especially since the main collectible was still the Shine Sprites. It was just you traded in blue coins for Shine Sprites. And I thought that was kind of neat, because the blue coins are hidden everywhere. And it gives you something that you're always can do something pretty much you know because there's if you're just running around the level you could just pick them up as you go you don't specifically go in after unless you're like doing a let's play you don't normally go in after the level specifically to get the blue coins like they're not that well hidden that it would take you like you have to go into a specific level to get all of them or well actually that's not true you do have to span across all the different levels to get them However, you can get them pretty easily if you just know where they are, and they're normally in plain sight, either that or, you know, you just get a little bit creative, and you should probably be able to find all of them, and if you really, truly can't, just look it up in a guide, but anyway, that's the blue coins, I, I do like the blue coin idea, but I know a lot of people don't. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is how, I guess, the flood pack works, and it's different nozzles, because there are four three different nozzles the hover nozzle the rocket nozzle and the turbo nozzle and technically the one that just sprays normal water but i don't really count that as like a nozzle because it's not really like an attachment that you can get so that's just like the basic flood that you would get if you didn't get any of the dlc basically but anyway so of all the nozzles i think the turbo nozzle is definitely the most fun to use the high blah, 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 blah. hover nozzle is definitely the most useful and the rocket nozzle is not really that great. Um, yeah. I mean, it's not bad by any stretch, but it's just nowhere near as helpful as the two brethren. But especially the hover nozzle. 
But overall, all the nozzles are in some way useful. They all have separate missions. There's at least one mission that you would have to use each nozzle for in the different levels. I mean, not like per level, but even just on Delfina Plaza, some of the shine sprites, there's definitely a shine sprite that would require each of the nozzles. Except maybe the hover nozzle if you're like a god. But overall, you do need the nozzles to do something, all of them, so they are equally important. But... I still find the hover nozzle to be the most useful and easy to use, and it is the first one that you get, so what can I say? <laughs> Alright, now the last thing I want to talk about is the bosses in this game. Now, the thing is with the bosses, and I'm sure everyone's going to be going into the argument, like, you're really going to talk about the bosses? Like, wow, you just want me to hate on you. Like, the bosses, I'm not going to lie, they were recycled over and over and over again. I don't think there was one boss, there was, like, only, like, two, three bosses that weren't used a million, at least twice. Because there was the goopy piranha guys, they were used probably, like, what, four or five times? The squids were used like three, four times. PD Piranha even was used twice. In the same mission, I mean the same stage of course, but still used more than once. And really the only one of the only regional bosses I can think of is the final boss and the mecha bowser. Both of which are the coolest bosses in the game. And I would have loved having to fight them multiple times. Except for maybe not Mecha Bowser, because he's in the way. Of course, don't worry guys, if you miss going on that racetrack, shooting things at awkward camera angles, there's always Mission 8 of Peanut Park. Everyone's favorite! Yay! It's so fun, it's like a birthday party, there's so, so many balloons, and, and f fun, and, and ro roller coasters. Yay! Hey. But in all seriousness, guys, I've been Schooly Armo TV. I hope you enjoyed my little review of Super Mario Sunshine. I know it wasn't really much critical stuff, but I guess if you do want to hear anything critical, I personally would have preferred that you had the long jump and that Yoshi didn't die in water because he's never died in water before, I don't think, and unless there just wasn't any water in most of the games that he was in. He died if you dropped him off the cliff, but he didn't really die in water as far as I know. But anyways, I've been in school on the Armo TV. Now you guys can't yell at me and say I didn't say anything negative, so see y'all next time. Bye!